this afternoon was sitting with the Plark Rock female. She's got a pilot kill that she made, would have made last night. What's unusual is that it's, it looks like an adult in pilot. Most of the leopard kills this time of year are the lambs. They've been born all the time. They're incredibly vulnerable and the leopards are just snapping them up like candy. So, yeah, it's not as common to see them on a big impala kill at the moment. And there's sometimes what they'll do is grab a, an impala ewe while she's giving birth. So the view is fairly obstructed, she's in a thicket. What we're hoping is that as it gets dark, she's going to hoist the kill into a beautiful marula tree, which has a lovely, you know, it's a perfect slope for hoisting, and it's only about 20 meters from where she is. It's very windy, the smell is going to be traveling, there are going to be hyenas on the prowl this evening, so we're confident that she's going to get it up a tree. Just whether she does it before it gets robbed is the question. But yeah, it's just going to be a patience game from here. Okay, now there's a herd of elephants starting to come closer. They were here earlier, but then one of the young males looked like he smelt the blood from the kill and he got a bit freaked out and the herd ran off. Now it looks like they're coming back again. So the, the plaque rock female, she's gone up onto a termite mound. So she's pretty safe from the elephants, but you never know if they get closer and they realize she's there, they might get a bit upset because there's some small calves in the herd. So yeah, this could, uh, we could see some fun here.
Okay, the last 20 minutes have been nothing short of ridiculous. Just over here is a hyena finishing off the impala ewe that the leopard killed. The plant rock female is lying 10 meters beyond him, hoping to steal back some of the kill. Brief summary, I can't even remember what happened now. <laughs> the elephants have now moved off, the hyena is now feeding, and the plant rock female is lying 10 meters away, hoping to steal some of the kill back. The problem is if she gets any of it, it's a long run to the nearest tree to try to hoist it. She does have the lamb still hoisted, so she has got food, she hasn't lost out entirely, but due to that predatory instinct to go after that lamb, and then hoisting it probably in response to the bleach, she realized other predators might be coming in. That unfortunately has resulted in her losing the main kill. So she's ultimately actually lost out here. Um, I don't know if she's going to be able to steal anything back, but the way this evening has gone, anything can happen. Right, Ringo, just update, we're going to check along Upper River Road and then circuit south and see if the black rock is there. Okay, we've come back to the scene of the Plock Rock female's kill from last night. And the lamb is still hoisted. She's fed a bit on the ramp. She's lying on a termite mound just back there. And looks like she did manage to steal a bit from uh, back from the hyena. There's a leg or some part of the, the impala you hoisted in a marula about 50 meters away. So she's got essentially two kills in two trees now. She's lying up very well fed. We'll leave her be. But uh, yeah, nice to come and wrap up the story. Yeah. Go in the wrong way. Yeah, I cut like this, never pull it down. Never. Mid like this. Okay. Yeah, that, like this is easy. There we go. <laughs> 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 the Okay, now we might need to go back here because he's going to push <laughs> the bloody tree, yeah. Okay, he's going to push the tree into it.
So this morning we managed to clean the hot box, get all the snacks, get everything nice and perfect and we forgot to fill up the flasks with hot water so we're having some lovely cookies and mangoes here at the pan but no coffee. We, we had one job to do. Yeah, so we were going to fill the hot box which we did. We were going to fill it with milk as well which we forgot and we forgot hot water yeah. It's all been a bit of a disaster. So on a level of 1 to 10, what kind of disappointment are we dealing with? Strong 7.5. <laughs> Give me a 12. <laughs> Okay, it's a wet grey morning, but it's a good one because we just found the Shimungwe young male and we saw him because he just got up off a termite barn and hurtled in on a herd of impala. And this is of course the lambing season, so the, the hunting opportunities are rife. He missed and now he's just kind of milling around a bit. Oh, this is pretty typical behavior of leopards this time of year. They move around these crests and they'll hop up and down trees just scanning, scanning, scanning because there's so many impala lambs that are mainly being kept out in the open as much as the mothers can because they, this is generally where they're a little bit safer because they can see what's coming. Um, so the leopards will try to get as many vantage points as they can just to scan for any, any lambs that are vulnerable and easier to catch. Oh, okay, he's down. Oh, he's right. Hang on a second here. Found him again and he has killed an impala lamb just just like we thought he was after and uh, we found him we were just doing loops around spotted a, an impala looking into the thickets alarming and must have been from the herd that he ran in on and there were two hyenas there and we looked up the tree the hyenas with the base of and and he's got it safely hoisted so this is a classic case of leopard under pressure well, obviously for the hyenas but leopards are quite picky in the trees they choose to hoist in uh, there's certain species they like to go up that don't have thorns that offer better cover. Marulas, which this area is strewn with, in fact that's what we saw them climbing earlier, um, they're the, the preferred tree of choice, especially in summer. But because he's under pressure, he's had to go up the closest one and that's a knob thorn tree. It's a thorn tree. It's not a very good tree to climb. The bark is very loose, it flakes off easily and it's full of vicious thorns so leopards try and avoid them if they can but when the two hyenas chasing you wanting to steal your kill you got to go up the first tree you can get to shame you can see he's not too happy he's trying to find a comfortable place to feed but i think those thorns are giving him some problems i don't think he's loving life over there so but okay he's moving it now yeah so he's coming back down to where he originally was And although it's not the best place to feed, it at least offers him somewhere where he can drape the kill and be out of reach of the thorns. We have found is a small group of ground hornbills feeding. Uh, looks like two males and a female. 
and from the looks of it we're gonna to have to look at the photos uh, but it looks like they are significantly reducing the local bushveld rain frog population yeah, bushveld rain frog frogs as the name suggests are these little guys that come out after the rain and they are fairly easy to identify because they are these chubby little frogs really really cute but your shame i think they're getting hammered by these hornbills stick with them for a while because you can get them unearthing some fascinating things they'll eat snakes they'll eat tortoises and um, pretty cool birds highly endangered so you know stick with them for a bit see what they get up to Okay, these hyenas, so I'm not looking at the camera because I'm showing it's settings right. Do I? Oh, he's flying up. Okay, well, I kind of duffed that. I was fiddling with settings, but essentially the, <laughs> the same hyenas that were <clears throat> that were trying to rob the Shemungwe young male came in and tried to rob the ground hornbill of its snake. So it hopped up into a fallen knob thorn and the hyenas sniffed around and then the hornbill flew off. So. Yeah, these hyenas are causing all sorts of trouble this morning. But what a great morning, all this action. This is the, the hornbills were within 200 meters of the leopard. He's just back up there. So lots of action in a very small area.